It, it's a classic. It's a classic size. It's 30 meters long, 15 meters wide, and 15 meters high. So right. it's the old tradition. The length equals the width and the height. Delightful to be here in Vizio, the Vizio district of Portugal with Hugh for SJ Walker. Good morning, Hugh. Good morning to you. Carl. Lovely to be here. Tell us about this property, if you will. Well, this is uh, an old uh, st uh, stone kinta that was built in 1865 by an English guy. You came somewhat 150 years later. Yeah, Englishman returns to the Englishman's castle. And what sort of state was it in when you arrived? Not good. The roof was collapsing at the end, the, uh, there was no uh, glass in any of the windows, most of the window frames had fallen out. No wow. one actually lived here since, uh, I think it was 1985 was the last person who actually lived here properly. I had to rewire obviously, there was no sewage, there was no water, and big, big project. We did it with a group of local Portuguese experts, great with stone, great with electrics and plumbing, and we spent the first six months redoing the middle and top floor. Mm. Following year, we then did all the ground floor where all the wine area used to be. And in this delightful setting, it's so quiet here. Where, where are we in relation to the nearest big city? Well, um, we're about 15 minutes from Vizu. Uh, Tom Della, which is a smaller satellite town, is about 15 minutes as well. We're just off the IP3, so location-wise, to get about Portugal, it's brilliant. And we have the famous N2. Which oh, is, that's Portugal's Route 66. It is Portugal, yeah, absolutely. And a fantastic eco pista, which is for running, cycling, walking, with dotted along this cycleway um, a number of old train stations, which are now little restaurants and cafes or there's a cycle place you can hire a cycle uh, the so best of both worlds civilization yeah. not far away to do all the important things that you need to do in modern life and then you can step back a century or two into the peace and tranquility of this area yeah. and nobody can overlook us we're completely secluded down here and it's the farm of three rivers, because what happens just above us is three rivers come together, there's a big dam, and that dam powers the supply of energy, which was oh, for the okay. old textile factory, and that's right. what they did. The sound of that water just going over that big dam at the end there. Yep, can hear it now. Yeah, it's a, the best white noise you could ever have. Our rooms, which have got really high ceilings. Yes. I mean, some of them are four, they're four and a half meters high. So we don't have to worry about air conditioning in the summer because it's beautifully cool. A cool the, granite building. This is a granite exterior. Yeah. The, the walls are nearly 70 centimeters thick. Wow. Um, and to be honest, it's a, a cooling in the summer and a warming in the, in the winter. You've got this energy that's stored not only just temperatures, but emotionally, the, the, the house yeah. just gives yes. a fantastic energy. The original pine floors, which we managed to recover, the beautiful beams in the top floor, which apparently the, the timber came from Braga. And so mm. I'd ha Which is up in the north, the northeast of Portugal. Yeah, right. yeah, so these are beautiful pine timbers. We've got 10 bathrooms and we've got uh, four kitchens. <laughs> right. um, some of the suites have a, a small kitchenette so, to allow people to um, prepare food for the children if you've got kids here. So, so as it stands, it's, it's made for entertaining, uh, but it could be used in a number of ways. Yes, I mean, as a multi-generational. So if you've got great grandparents who want to come and be, but have enough space with their children or great grandchildren is, uh, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity. Yeah, 
We had our, our big sitting room, yes. which we do as a, an extra dining area, big open fire in the winter. Oh. And uh, it's uh, 10 meters by 10 meters, and a completely open space, which has got all the beautiful windows looking to the rising sun. Well, I saw that this morning. So I uh, went to bed last night after a very fine evening, thank you, and stepped out of my bed towards the, the tall shutters, the floor to ceiling shutters, yeah. open the window out onto the river view here. This place is so peaceful. Mm. So we've got a quite a large kitchen area, which was actually where the Lagars, where they used to make the wine there. Here in the house? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And what we did is we decided to convert the ground floor into an entertainment area more. So we've got a, a big commercial kitchen, which is delicately shown, rather than being all steel. Yes. Um, and uh, we actually live in there in the winter because we have a nice open fire there. Mm. So uh, Janie can be doing the cooking and uh, we can uh, enjoy the surroundings while she's doing the cooking. So I hear you've got a few vines here yourself as well and you make a bit of wine. We do. When we first came here, it, the vineyards were completely overgrown. With so you didn't even know? No, we were told that there were vineyards somewhere over there. We couldn't see anything. So we actually were going to make one of the vineyards into a tennis court. That's right. why it is now named the Tennis Court Vineyard. Ah, OK, right underneath all these uh, invasive uh, trees and Covered bushes. weeds and... Yeah, yeah. Right. We found the American rootstock, the original, which was planted about three years before and abandoned. So what we did is uh, in 2004-05, the winter, before we'd actually bought the place, we'd done the promise, uh, we had a team come in and strip the vineyards, reinsert all the varieties. We have four. These are the Portuguese classic Dow wines. Oh, yes, okay. Tariga Nacional. Yes. And it's NAC, because a lot of people say NAT, but it's yes. a Nacional. Yes. And then Tintoris, uh, Alfrochero Preto, which only comes from the Vizu region, and then a very sweet grape called Jayan. Tell us about the grounds then uh, that we see here. I'm looking over uh, soft fruit and herbs. This is presumably the the kitchen garden. Well, we keep all our we keep all our uh, asparagus, our raspberries, our fruit trees at this end, and then we've got a huge uh, veg garden, which is great with all our beans, our onions, our Fantastic. sweet potato, and that's down by the river, and it has its own water supply, a fantastic well, which we can take water from. Uh, 365 it doesn't matter there's it's interconnected to the river so we can irrigate things which is so important in in portugal mm. where it's quite dry i mean we've had uh, what now four months without any rain uh, but everything's green so as you said in the heat of summer you have a beautiful granite georgian building that stays cool cool and you can run down to the river and have a dip you do you have your, you have your own private river beach yeah we have a river beach yeah. amazing yeah yeah with the big uh, rocks to dive off and lovely gravel base uh, um, and uh, we've got lots of uh, fish in the river. We've yes. got crayfish, uh, which we do uh, occasionally get in nets. And I am enjoy. so looking forward to lunch. Hugh, we've had the most lovely time here. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful to meet you and see your beautiful property here mm -hmm. and to celebrate the fruit of your labour, literally the fruit of your labour here. What have we got here? We've got Tariga Nacional as a rosé, comes off the Quinta and Amazing. Here's to the people who will inherit your wonderful work here. <laughs>